You are watching an Al Bear review. Cue the music. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys? Saturday morning check in. I just got it in, man. Um, I drove over here this morning so y'all can see exactly how close the track is to, uh, well, from where I live and it, it, it's no excuse. It's no excuse, man. I wake up on the weekends. First thing I want to do, go get me a little cardio in before I do anything. And um, today was a good day, man. I had two two uh motivators out here with me this morning when i got here with this lady here she was already doing her thing and um i finished i did probably about 15 16 laps and um she finished right before i did so there's no telling you know how many laps she did but you know as i was walking and mixing in a little jogging with it you know she was pushing me because i you know i seen her she kept going and you know i didn't want to quit before she did especially you know uh considering the fact that <clears throat> she was here before i was so i was like yeah no nah, you know i'm not gonna tap out until she tap out so you know that's the kind of energy i like i love when i'm out here trying to get a little cardio in. it just really made me want to keep going and going and then another lady she popped up she's still out there walking right now um like i you know that's that motivation i love to see i'm gonna still come and get it regardless you know because on saturdays uh even on sundays especially if i'm not going to church the first thing i want to do when i wake up is you know, get some cardio in because it's, it's no rush. Like during the week when I go to the gym in the mornings before work, you know, I have to be home at a certain time so I can get ready for work, cook me some breakfast, all that good stuff. But I will say, you know, when I'm out here on the weekends, you know, I put that music in my ear and um, I'm telling you, man, I'll be out here for hours and hours if, uh, you know, that inner, that inner mind and my, my stomach wasn't talking to me because, you know, all of a sudden, you know, as I'm walking, it just be like food, food, food. And, you know, I do be hungry. But like I say, it just be that motivation that I see everybody else around me. They getting that work in. It just make me want to keep going. It make me, you know, not want to leave. But I do be thinking about food when I be over here because I'm usually over here on the empty stomach. So I just want to give y'all a little Saturday check in. Let y'all know how it's going. Who knows? And you know, then too, another reason why I got to get it up, you know, get out here and get it before I do anything. Cause you know, Saturday, Sunday, you know, I love that football, man. I have got to be in front of that TV when that football is kicking off, man. So that's another thing, especially when my nose playing on Saturday. Today we play at 3.30. So whatever it is I got to do, if it don't get done before 3.30, it's going to have to wait till after the game. But I just want to do a little quick Saturday morning check in and I'm going to holler at y'all later. And tell you guys how you know I finally found the secret ingredient to how crackheads you know get your car looking so nice and shiny when they wash it you know what I'm saying that's what I want to talk about because you know this week is a long week this month is going to be a long month I have to work three of the four Saturdays out of this month 
So I was looking for some inspiration to get me through <clears throat> through the week and the weekends. And I know for myself, maybe it's a male thing, but having a clean car, it just, it, it, you know, it just makes you feel so much better about yourself. You know what I'm saying? So this weekend, I washed my car and I got it looking good. I washed my girlfriend's car. And like I said, I, I want to talk about, and I'm still going to talk about how I found a secret ingredient that crackheads use to actually get the cars to look so shiny and perfect and brand new. But man, I, 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 I just, it's heavy on my heart, man. So I, I, I got to put it out there. So, you know, we got paid Friday from the job. You feel me? And, um, you know, I work at a university and, you know, it's Monday. So, you know, I, I looked at my pay stub and I seen a little deduction in there, you know, from the, transportation department or whatever it's called on campus right so you know i call and i'm just like you know and and look i'll be honest even you know I, um staff in fact that we still have to purchase parking decals and i haven't purchased it right i did it on purpose like i'm trying to skate by but listen so I called them and i was like hey you know my name is such and such and i noticed that in you know I'm gonna pay stub. It's a deduction from you guys. You know, you know, you know, whoop de whoop whoop. So it was like, and, and you know, I feel so sorry because it's student workers that you know you are talking to, and you know they pull my information up, and it was like, you know, Mr. Bivens, yeah, you know, your parking decal, yada yada yada. You know that came out, and I was like, okay, cool. So, um, you know, how much is it? You know, is it? You know, 45 bucks this year. And uh, the student worker was like, no, sir, it went up to $90. I, I went crazy. I, I don't, look, I ain't, I'm in the conversation with student student worker. I don't even, eat. look, I, I said, what? They charging me $90 to park my Volkswagen on this campus. First of all, I know that I haven't renewed or when they got the new parking decal for this calendar year, this school year, because... You know, where my office is located, where I, the department I work in, you know, we kind of out of sight, out of mind. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try to keep them 45 in my pocket as long as possible. You know what I'm saying? As long as possible because don't nobody come over there. Don't know. The, the university police don't come over there. The ticket writers, they don't come over there. So I'm just like this. Yeah, I don't feel like giving them 45 bucks this year. And not to mention, when I first started, the parking decal was like 25, 30 bucks. No lie. Then it went 45. You know, I'm feeling away about the 45, but I'm damn sure feeling away about the 90. It's ridiculous. Like, look, I'm not saying we shouldn't have to park. And I don't know how much students have to pay to park. I don't. All I'm saying is 90. Look, you need to be trying. I don't drive a Tesla to work. I don't drive a Mercedes to work, a Jaguar. You can charge those faculty members the $90 to park. Not me. Like, so I'm blow. I'm blow. So, you know, I calmed, I was like, okay, you know, Al, you wash your car, your car clean. So, you know, I, I calmed down a little bit. Like I said, having a nice, clean car for whatever reason, for, for at least for myself, it calms me down. You feel me? So, I, you know, that's how I kind of, I'm still mad about it. But I, I'm not as up to here with it as I was. Cause, you know, I looked at the one that I seen my car glistening in the sun. The tire shine was, you know, just on point. But $90, and I was just like, and it, it's the sad part. If I was to resign today because I found another job, whatever the case is, I have to turn in the uh, parking decal. Now, what sense do you... Well, I'm moving on. Let me talk about my car and, and you know, the car wash. Because, you know, I can go on and on about that. Because that it, it pissed $90. So, I, I mean, I just feel like I say, man, I... My little vote, it's a facade. It ain't no Jetta now. Don't, you know, don't, look, don't try my, hey, I got a facade now. I got a little something, you feel me? But, you, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no Tesla. We got faculty members that's pulling up in Teslas, Beamers, uh, Mercedes, Jaguars. The Volkswagen is, come on now, come on now. But, look, anyway, let me get back. Let me try to regroup, refocus. So, whew, anyway, so I got my first vehicle. When I was about, I was like 15 or 16. You know, I'm from the country, so I started driving. Uh, my dad taught me how to drive when I was maybe like 12, 13. It was definitely before 14 because I remember, you know, whatever. But 
So I got my first vehicle when I was like 15. Cause I, yeah, I was like 15. And so, you know, man, you get your first vehicle, man. You just trying to keep it clean and clean and clean. And so where I'm from and you know, don't judge me, but you know, we had local crackheads that would wash the car for like $5. Now look, me personally, I'm not going to knock no man hustle. You know, you can spend your money however you want to. If you want, if you're going to give me a service, wash my car, inside and out, $5. That's why when I went to college, it was crazy because when I went to college, um, the cats who, you know, wash the cars were like, you know, it'd be 10, it'd be 10 just outside, inside, not 15. Okay, cool. But now where I live at, now I stopped to ask a couple guys how much it is, you know, for the full detail. I think buddy told me $30. I was like, eh, I got a car, my girlfriend, that's $60 between the both of us. I'd be a damn fool. I get my fat behind there and wash them myself. That's like seriously, but so you know, back back to the story. So, like I say, they the crackheads, man. And, and, and if you know anything about crackheads, you know they work like Mexicans. Matter of fact, they work harder than Mexicans, especially when we talking about washing cars, man. They have that thing buffed. At least the crackheads where I'm from. I can't speak about y'all crackheads, but look, they. I mean, you know, they perform the service. You know, five stars, like no lie. So. I always used to be saying to myself, man, how do they get my car? And I had a Jeep back then, Jeep Cherokee. I'm like, man, how do they get this thing looking like this? Like it just got waxed. And, and you know, all of this stuff. And every time I watch it, <clears throat> I see water streaks and all of this. Lord behold, I found this shimmy online. And it is the key to making your car look like it is, it's been whacked. Like I did, uh, me and my girlfriend car, she got a black car, so it looks way better. You know what I'm saying? When you clean it, her car definitely looked like it was waxed. But all of these years, I've been buying all these car wash products, uh, different type of wax soap and all of this. And come to find, and like I said, the crackheads, all they use is this detergent and water and a shimmy and they had a car looking spotless like it's crazy man but anywho you know i wanted to you could I, I said i know i got a long month ahead of me um working three or the four weekends out of this month so i'm like i need to find some motivation to and i know it's crazy you know but i find motivation in different things so i'm like man if i see my car looking good maybe i don't even want to drive to work here today i don't know <laughs> you know what I'm, saying? I'm just trying to make sure i'm you know i'm being to work on time and, you know, just being there. So that's why I chose to get out there this weekend and wash the car. And, you know, they turned out lovely. But, man, listen, when I tell you, when I got to work this morning and I looked at my pay stub, because I'm always looking at my pay stub to make sure, you know, everything is everything. You'll be a fool just to get paid and not look at your pay stub. But that's another story. But when I cut $90, I just, I just got to keep reminding myself, man. And you know, from where my office, my office desk is, and my all, I could look at the one and see my car. It was smiling at me, so I was like, okay, cool. Who bring it down? Go take a lunch break. Come back, regroup, and we'll go from there. But it's just ridiculous, man. They got to do better than this, cause nine dollars, man. Next year gonna be uh, nine, that's a hundred dollars to me. Next year gonna be a hundred dollars on the head. I, I can't, man. It's just too. Much. So I'm about to head to the mall and uh, pick up a gift for my dad. Saturday is his birthday. And, you know, I really appreciate um, his birthday coming around as well as my mom. It gives me a chance to give them, you know, a token of appreciation um, because, you know, I know if I had billions of dollars, um, I could never repay um, either of them for the positive influence that they have had on my life, especially my dad, you know, he, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's weird. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he, one of those guys who you meet in life. And I, I know it's crazy. I'm talking like that. Cause he's my father, but you meet in life and they just, it's just something about them. They got this, 
this certain type of sauce. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like he would, he'll call me. For instance, we called each other the other day and we were talking about football. And then all of a sudden the conversation turns into us talking about leadership, us talking about the church, us talking about, you know, uh, guiding and, you know, just different, you know, conversations. And it's crazy because, you know, when we talk, even though it's not as often as, you know, I talk to my mom or, you know, other friends and family members. It's like he always gives me some advice that I'm looking for with my life without me asking or even, uh, you know, trying to disguise asking a question. You get what I'm saying? And, and when you meet people like that, when you have people like that in your life, they just got the sauce, man. I'm telling you, that's just how I look at They have the sauce. And, you know, it's important to have people like that, you know what I'm saying, in your circle, whether it's family members, friends, or whomever, you know, it just so happens to be my father. And I really, like I said, I, you know, it's his birthday Saturday. I got to get him something nice. Because like I say, the influence that this man has had on my life and still is having on my life to this very day, I could never repay him. But that does not mean I should not try. So that's going to be it for this one. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. And, um, Y'all pray I don't swipe this card too hard. Peace.